it's me, Claudia. Welcome to Cloud Dolls. A year ago, you saw me doing an Halloween Pikachu. Through the year, I was looking at her and say, girl, you deserve a second chance. I get my inspiration with my teenage daughter, with anime, manga, girl. We spend a lot of time together seeing the series. So, for that, I'm gonna take the clothes out and cleaning her body and prepare it for the second chance. I'm gonna protect the hair because I wanna use it. And with 100% acetone, I take the makeup out. I plug the yarn out of her body. And with nail polish remover without acetone, I clean her body. After she's clean, with my Mr. Super Clear and my mask, with my soft pastels and with my watercolor pencils, I start the reface. After giving her three layers of Mr. Super Clear letting dry for 30 minutes between the layers, I start with two layers of white soft pastel, trying to minimize the paint color that you have. By the way, I'm using a Monster High a Gigi. I love their face sculpting and the nails are amazing. With a light brown, I start sketching the face. I'm gonna give her blue eyes. When we are alone, me and my daughter or Sunday, we spend the whole day in bed. We make a picnic and we see anime manga series. The last one that we saw was Squid Games. I, I don't know if it's manga or anime. I have to admit, guys, I really like it. Especially Sakura and Sailor Moon. Oh, and Avatar. I love Avatar. I continue building opacity between the layers of Mr. Super Clear and the color. How was your week? I was busy working and with my dolls, of course, with my Pikachu. With soft pastels, I give the contour to the face. I mark the place of the high browns that I wanted and I shape it with a rubber. You can find my material list in the description box below as usual. This doll is going to be for sale on Etsy. And you can also find the link in the description box below.
have to make a little bit more hair for her with yellow yarn, my pet brush and then with my air straightener I will push it really hard and then I can attach it to the head of our girl she has some places that are empty because she was reroot and when I brush the yarn some yarn come out I give her an, uh, a side uh, up ponytail I'm making my metal stock warm with my air straightener and I'm giving her curly hair in her ponytail I printed these little Pikachu symbols to put in her boots and also one for the hair to decoration. I have to send them and now I'm gonna paint them with the colors of Pikachu, yellow, red and black and these little fruits I'm gonna attach them with UV resin and I'm gonna cure it under the UV lamp for 90 seconds. After that, I will attach them to her head. I think it's so cute. I decided to order my first doll eyelashes to try it. So we're gonna try it together. I buy it in Aliexpress, it was like 1 euro and it took me 2 weeks to get it, so it's fast and now I'm gonna apply them, I can see they're really thin I will measure how much I want it and then I cut it and then with my tweezer I will put it in place and yes guys yes definitely yes it's so much better it's so much easier I love it I'm in love really I really you have to try it I always used human fake eyelashes but not anymore You see the difference between one and the other ones? These ones are more easy to put and it's perfect for the doll. I finish her face with some glossy in the lips and eyes. For the boots, I will cut the symbol of the Monster High 
and then with UV resin I glue the Pikachu that I printed under the UV lamp and now I start painting the booth with the same colors of Pikachu yellow, red and black When it's dried, I finish the boots with, with a layer of glossy varnish. For the school bag, I'm going to use this fake brown leather and with a hot glue, I give a rectangle shape. I get inspiration in the old school bags that they use in Japan. With this color, I'm gonna make her clothes. First, the skirt. In yellow, I'm gonna sew it here and in the under. And after I cut it all my patterns, it's time to sew it. This is the skirt. I'm gonna apply a black ribbon. After two hours, the clothes is almost ready. I'm just gonna apply some white beads to her blouse to pretend that they are buttons. And I'm gonna make her a pendant for her jacket, a Pokemon ball. I dip a pearl in my red acryl and I let it dry. Now I'm gonna attach it to the jacket in the end of the zipper. Looks so cute! I don't know if you notice, but the hair is dirty from the old ears from her. They were painted with the black soft pastel. I'm gonna try to fix the problem with the yellow soft pastel and the toothbrush, but uh, no, I don't like it. I just I cut it and I made a new ponytail yarn. For her that I'm gonna glue it directly on her head with a hot glue and finish with yarn. I think it's much better. And of course I have to make her a little Pikachu for her. After all, she's a girl and like me, <laughs> I love teddy bears. 
In this case, it's a teddy bear Pikachu. I don't know. I build him with uh, some felt. I sew him. I fill it in with the leftovers of the yarn. With some fabric glue, I'm gonna glue the eyes and the mouth and the cheeks. It's the first time I make it a teddy bear, so uh, be patient with me. I know it's not perfect, but I will get there. And he looks so cute. I want to have one for me. But I have to give it to her. And our girl is ready. I hope you like it. And because I don't. I don't like the hair. I hate it. No way. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna cut it and I have to give her another hair because I'm not satisfied. Really. I cut the yarn really short I'm gonna protect the face with the fabric and with my heat gun I'm gonna take the head out And oh my god, oh, I can't believe it, everything is damaged. Well, I think we have to give Pikachu a third chance. With the scuba dryer, I scrapped the yarn from inside of her head and Nothing comes out. It's awful. But I'm not gonna give up. And I didn't give up. Now I'm gonna give her this beautiful synthetic yellow hair. I'm gonna start gluing it with hot glue from the bottom to the top. I'm gonna redo her face but I'm not gonna show you that guys because it's gonna be exactly the same face that I give it to her because other way the, the video will be very very long After a lot of indecisions and after a lot of changing, I can say that I'm really happy with her. I leave you with the final photos of our anime girl Pikachu. I hope you like it. Leave your comment please. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and help me to grow up and to be able to continue to do my dolls. Give me a like. I'm sure you don't want to lose the next video. Bye!